Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Rusty's Mustang Garage. If you're new here, I'm rebuilding a 1965 Mustang Coupe. And today we are going to be working on part of the chassis jig or the frame jig. Uh, we'll be working on the attachments, <clears throat> the first couple of attachments for it. I'll leave a playlist link uh, around here somewhere to the whole playlist regarding the jig. But today it's just going to be the first two attachments and uh, let's get into it. All right, what I've done here is set up a quick mock-up of how these jig attachments will look and how they'll attach to the, to the jig assembly itself. I have two 2x2 two two square tubings that are going to take the place of the 2x4 inch tubing that I'm going to be using. It's just here to get an idea of what it's going to look like. This first attachment will sit into where the leaf spring mounts in the rear. The second attachment will sit pretty much where the front frame rails meets the frame extensions in the front. All it's going to do is sit on here. There's no attachment point one way or another. It's got two end caps that will keep the frame from going off either end. The idea of this is to just set the car at one known point, which would be the rear leaf spring bolts. And then everything else at that point is fluid. I can adjust it to where I need it. Once the car is square onto the jig, I will be taking measurements to um, fabricate the other jig attachment points. All right, what I've done already is I've ground the edges clean. I've cleaned it up with some acetone. We're going to tack the end plates in place and weld all around. And this top cross piece will then be done. All right. I think I've toasted that tungsten for now. I'll we'll have to regrind the tip. All right, you can see this is the first side that I did. It's not too bad. There, there's some ugly spots in it, but you know I, I haven't TIG welded in quite a while, and I wasn't really good at it to begin with. Here's the inside of that first side, and it's kind of chunky looking. Let me flip it around. This is the second end cap. It's looking a little better. There's a couple holes here and there, but for what this is going to be, this is going to be perfect. And that inside weld on this one looks a lot better. Not perfect, but, you know, practice will get there. All right, I got everything all set up with some squares, clamped down, getting ready to weld this one in place. 
Uh, I'm going to go down that way, but... Yep, everything's clamped in, squared, centered. We should be ready to go. Alright, so some of the wells aren't exactly pretty, but I do think that they're going to hold just fine. Yeah, everything should hold pretty good. I'm using a threaded rod to try to ensure that these two posts don't bend in or out as I'm welding. I'm hoping the half inch threaded rod is, is uh, sturdy enough for that. Running a little low on shielding gas, so I'm hoping I get this done. One last double check. 43 and 2 is 45. Alright, I get the squares out of the way now. And this is one of the reasons why I chose to put the threaded, threaded rod in. Uh, I wanted to just wreck it. Still good.
Okay, I think that's gonna do it for the welding around that. I'm going to let it cool. And then once it cools, I'll take this bar out and hopefully everything stays straight. All right, I took the threaded rod out. Everything stayed pretty much where it was supposed to be. They may have moved in maybe a sixteenth of an inch. Uh, for these old cars, a sixteenth of an inch is well within tolerance, I think. So I'm not too worried about that. And I got to build some spacers on the edges anyway, because I need a three inch pocket. These are only two inch. So I'm going to get some uh, one inch, sorry, half inch spacers for each side. And I'll build it out to three inches. So this is what the first two jig attachments are going to look like. Like I said, this one goes into the leaf spring pockets up front, where they mount. This is going to be where the front frame rails and the floor pan extensions meet, just under, uh, I guess, the bend of the firewall. It's just going to sit in here for now, um, just to support the front of the car and all the other attachments will locate the front of the car. Like I said earlier, this is going to be the main attachment point where all the measurements are going to be taken off of. I'm going to assume that these two points are correct and build everything out from there. All right, I think I'm going to wrap it up here for this video. If you like what you are watching, uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, if you have any ideas, any questions, any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. The next video is probably going to be building out the actual jig, or the table as I'm calling it, because all this stuff is going to mount on top of that. So hopefully I'll have that out soon. If not, I'll probably start working on the trunk of the car, because that's where I'm going to be starting. Uh, we're going to be taking out the two floor drop-offs on each side and the transition pan to get to the frame rails. And we're going to work at it that way. So, see you in the next video.